Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a quick video on a water filter for a Cuisinart T-Series touchscreen 14 cup coffee maker. Model number DCC-T20. So this is their relatively new line of coffee makers. It's a touchscreen coffee maker. I've got several videos on how to make coffee, how to set the auto program, how to clean it, how to descale it. This video I'm going to show you. You may have gotten this one used or, or it may not have come with it, but it should have come with this carbon water filter. So you've got this long handle and in, at the bottom of there, there is a carbon water filter. You're supposed to change this every two months or 60 brews. And it goes down in this. If you don't install it correctly, it kind of floats. Okay, so I've got the water removed. See down in there, there's that recess. That's where it sits and it kind of fits down in there snug so that it won't float out. That's where the water from the water tank goes into the coffee maker to be heated and then comes out the brew head eventually. So if your coffee maker did not come, this is a pretty standard Cuisinart um, water filter handle. They pretty much have these in most of their coffee makers. I'll put a link. You can buy one off of Amazon in my show notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you do click on the link, I do get a little bit of money from it. Um, the products don't cost you anymore. But it does help defer some of the cost. I buy all my own coffee makers to do reviews. So here it opens up on one side where it says open. You just pop it open and there's, these are carbon water filters. Now these do help with the taste of your coffee. It will eliminate some of the odor and if you've got chlorine in your coffee, that's really bad. So this will help with your taste. So, but there is a little bit of setup. So when you get a new one of these, they will come sealed in a bag, open the bag, You've got to let it soak in a, in a cup of water for 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Now your water is going to turn all uh, gray because there's dust in here. And we want to get all that dust out before we use it. We can feel that there's, there's charcoal in there. So when you've got it in here, your water is going to turn a kind, of, kind of a pretty dark gray. Then you're going to take this over to the sink and you're going to run it under the sink for about 10 seconds under cold water just to give it one final rinse. Now we're ready to install it. So you can see it's got a flat side and a curved side. So same with this, there's a curve and a flat. We're gonna put it in just like that, okay? And then we just snap it. Now, when this is installed, the water has to go through the filter before it can come out of this bottom area to go into the coffee maker. And that's how you change your water filter. Again, I'll put a link to these. There's no real good way. You're supposed to change these every two months. I would, I would add a reminder on your calendar or your, you know, one of your smart devices, your, your Echo or something. I hate saying that word. I don't want to activate anybody's. So when you're all done, then you just reinstall it. If you, if you don't have it installed right, sometimes the lid, no, the lid will close. So make sure you got it installed all the way down. Check out my other videos where I do how to make coffee with this. This is a really nice coffee maker, and I show you how to descale it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you could, please like and subscribe.